Hey guys, let's make snow puffies. Since COVID, we haven't been able to hop on a flight to get back to Oahu to see family or eat any of the yummy food, so I decided to do a Hawaii food series. We're starting off with the sweet and flaky snow puffies from Pa'alakai Bakery at Wailua. If you can find this pudding from European Gourmet Bakery, I highly recommend it because this is literally the only one that doesn't taste like trash in my opinion. Um, so I followed the instructions, but instead of using just one egg yolk, I did two, number one for creaminess and second for color. Transfer your pudding to a glass bowl, then cover with saran wrap, pressing down, so once you refrigerate it, it won't have that thick film on top. Now I'm whipping up 3 quarters cup of heavy cream until we have stiff peaks. I'm folding in the whipped cream into the pudding for two reasons. Number one, I don't like my dessert super sweet, so that'll kind of lessen the sweetness, and also it makes it more fluffy. Now I'm taking these frozen puff pastry sheets from Pepperidge Farms. These are honestly legit, guys. I thawed them out for about half an hour, then split them into six equal portions. Pop these babies onto a lined baking sheet, then brush them gently with an egg wash. Bake them at 400 degrees for 14 minutes and they should come out nice, golden, and fluffy just like this. For the salted chocolate ganache, I'm using 3 quarter cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips and I'm pouring in a quarter cup of heavy cream that I heated up on the stove but I did not let it boil. It wasn't quite enough to get all the chocolate melted so I popped it in the oven for 2 8 second intervals. Then I finished it off with some chocolate sea salt. To help the puff pastry cool off a little bit faster, I pulled them apart in half and placed them on a cooling rack. And now we're ready to assemble. Once they're cooled, go ahead and pipe in your chilled whipping cream, place the tops back on, and now let's get a little artsy. Patla Akai does this iconic chocolate pattern on top, so I try to copy that as much as possible. What do you guys think? Does it look kind of similar? Have some fun with this next part. Dust these babies with as much or as little powdered sugar as you like. No one's judging and you're gonna be the one eating these. Not gonna lie, these came out pretty freaking good and they kept really well. So I popped them in the fridge and they were still crispy the next day. I really hope you guys enjoy this recipe as much as I did and please smash that thumbs up button for me and subscribe for more.